But it's all very well to rail against the establishment, to claim that democracy has been betrayed, that the elites are out of touch. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's going to resonate with a lot of people. Well, I think it's all it, true. It, well, it may be true, but you can whip people up into a sort of populist fervour. But where's the beef? You've diagnosed the problem, but where's yep. the solution? There's not a single policy on your website, for example. Oh, we are fighting a European election. You know, I'm, Still requires I mean, policies. Hang on. I am on the Brexit horse, and there's Beecher's Brook in front of me, which is the 23rd of May, and we are talking about the single most important political question you and I will ever debate in our lives, namely whether we have a democracy that is worthy of that name. Because frankly, the way that I feel is that our democracy has been traduced over the course of the last few months. So we are fighting this European election on democracy, on trust, and frankly on competence, because I believe the kind of candidates that we're putting forward with their life experiences but that, but could run this country better. Now that's an anti policy. You need to have a pro policy. No, no, we well. believe in, no no we believe in democracy. The others don't. It's, it's well, actually a very strong you, you, policy. Again, a good slogan, but it's completely fatuous, isn't it? Because are you are you telling me that I, all I Conservative am, MPs or Labour sorry. MPs aren't Democrats? Uh, no, they're not. They're absolutely not. They have willfully overridden the will of the people, despite you know, the government document that, that came through our door telling us the result of the referendum would be implemented, despite telling us at a general election, both of those parties, they would respect the result and implement Brexit. Uh, they, they've walked all over us, and they think we're just going to roll over and let this happen. Fine, but we're you, not. But you surely have to tell people, um, if you get more seats than anybody else at the yep. European elections, and then you move forward to the next general election... They need to know what kind of Brexit you are envisaging. You, oh, you can't just say, well, we're going oh, to what leave. what kind of Brexit? Well, of course, we'll leave on WTO terms as quickly as possible. Why isn't that on your website? Uh, well, listen, we haven't had the manifesto launch yet, but we will over the course oh, of so the next couple of weeks. you are actually having a manifesto. Yeah, a very short manifesto for these European elections. And if you want to ask me about domestic policy and about the way in which we want to change, for example, the House of Lords and things like that, all of that will come in good time. What would be a dreadful error is to confuse a European election on this vital question by talking about other things.